My first attempts with water rocket parachutes were just to hope the nose would fall off and the parachute would come out. I added cushion to the nose to absorb the shock when the parachute failed to deploy. Next, I purchased a kit rocket that used a bellows system. Pressing the bellows down and then sealing it kept it depressed because of the vacuum inside. There was a flap on the side of the rocket that blew off on launch. Air filled the bellows again, causing it to expand. The nose came up slowly, a small amount. This worked some of the time, but when it failed, the rocket was badly damaged. My next attempts were to use a wind-up mechanism to release a spring that would push the nose off. This also worked some of the time, but not all the time, and damage could be extensive. I then had the idea to deploy the parachute out the side of the rocket, thinking the nose was being pushed back on the rocket in flight. Sometimes it appeared the parachute came out, but did not fully open. Again, I added more cushion to the nose. The rocket on the right crashed on the blacktop on an early launch. Not enough cushion there to save it. Sometimes the parachute came out rather late and I was beginning to wonder if it was going to crash. I believe this system could be made much more reliable with a more positive method of pushing the parachute out.